Welcome back. We have a live look at Highway 101 in San Luis Obispo right now. Rain is making for wet road conditions. CHP has responded to over a dozen crashes across San Luis Obispo County since last night. No significant injuries have been reported so far. Now we want to check in with Daybreak weather anchor Brooke Martell, who has the very latest on this forecast. Good morning, Brooke. Good morning, Christina. A look right now, a live look out in Cayucas. This is thanks to Surfline.com. Those waves you're getting pretty crazy there, even for Morro Bay, and we're seeing those waves pick up as well in areas like Oceano. If you want to get a look at any of the beaches throughout the Central Coast, all you have to do is head to KSBY.com, and you can go to the weather tab there, drop down, and you can choose the surf line option there, and you can look at any of the beaches and just see how crazy some of the activity and dangerous it is right now out there. Now for a look at your wind forecast. This is really starting to increase this morning. So as we head into the afternoon hours, you can see we get out of that like 35 to 45 miles per hour range and we could pick up and be between 40 and 50 miles per hour throughout most of this afternoon and this evening starts to level off a little bit around that 11 o'clock hour tonight and even more so tomorrow. But take a look by Friday, even though the rain is exiting the area, we're still close to about 25 to 35 mile per hour winds. Satellite radar here shows rain continuing to cover most of California right now. High surf warning in effect and then also morning forecast checked in in Morro Bay around 15 feet this morning with that surf. Same thing goes for Oceano. Pismo Beach around 8 feet. This will remain in place tomorrow through 10 o'clock in the morning. High surf advisory also in place there for Santa Barbara County. Flood advisory in place through about 7:15 this morning, expiring soon for the Woolsey Fire and Hill Fire burn scars in Southern California. And of course, we still have that wind advisory that will remain in effect for our area through 9 o'clock this evening, also impacting Los Angeles and Ventura counties. Now, for a look at your microclimate model. We'll continue to have scattered showers throughout this afternoon, even this evening too. And if we take a look at Southern California, similar activity as the system continues to move south. Going into Friday though, mostly clear skies even around 11 o'clock tomorrow. We'll definitely have a little bit of cloud coverage, but we'll see that, that sunshine peek through as well. And RPM model here gives us a good idea of what we can expect when the system is all said and done. Could see about an inch and a half of rain for areas like Cambria, San Luis Obispo, even for Paso Robles as well. European model tends to be a little bit more generous, but I did want to show you this too, because we'll continue to have those scattered showers, like I said, throughout today, and then a break tomorrow before we're expected to get even more rain on Saturday. That could actually produce about a half an inch. Taking a look at our daytime highs, cooler temperatures again today, upper 50s to about mid 60s. What we can expect heading into the rest of the week and the weekend, this will be pretty consistent. And then by the beginning of next week, mostly sunny skies, cooler conditions. Tuesday though, we're expecting another rain system. I'll send it back to you guys.